What's up guys, in this video we'll continue getting acquainted with the idea of client-side neural networks. And we'll kick things off by seeing how we can use TensorFlow's model converter tool to convert Keras models into TensorFlow.js models. This will allow us to take models that have already been built and trained with Keras and make use of them in the browser with TensorFlow.js. So let's get to it. TensorFlow.js has what they call the Layers API, which is a high-level neural network API inspired by Keras. And we'll see that what we can do with this API and how we use it is super similar to what we've historically been able to do with Keras. So given this, it makes sense that we should be able to take a model that we built in Keras or that we trained in Keras and port it over to TensorFlow.js and use it in the browser with the Layers API, right? Otherwise, the alternative would be to build a model from scratch and train it from scratch in the browser, and as we discussed in the last video, that's not always going to be ideal. So having the ability and the convenience to convert pre-built or pre-trained Keras models to run in the browser is definitely going to come in handy. All right, how can we do this? First, we need to install the TensorFlow.js model converter tool. So from a Python environment, probably one where Keras is already installed, we run pip install tensorflow.js from the terminal. And once we have this, we can convert a Keras model into a tensorflow.js model. There are two ways to do the conversion, and we'll demo both. The first way is making use of the converter through the terminal or command line. We'd want to use this method for Keras models that we've already saved to disk as an H5 file. Recall from an earlier video that covered saving and loading Keras models, we have multiple ways we can save a model or save parts of a model, like just the weights or just the architecture. To convert a Keras model into a TensorFlow.js model though, we need to have saved the entire model with the weights, the architecture, everything, in an H5 file. Currently that's done using Keras model.save function. So given this, I already have a really simple model we built in an earlier Keras video that I've saved to disk. And I'm in the terminal now where we'll run the TensorFlow.js converter program. So we run TensorFlow.js converter and specify what kind of input the converter should expect. So we supply dash dash input format Keras. Then we supply the path to the saved H5 file and the path to the output directory where we want our converted model to be placed. And the output directory needs to be a directory that's solely for holding the converted model. There will be multiple files, so don't just specify your desktop or something like that. So when we run this, we get this warning regarding a deprecation, but it's not hurting us for anything we're doing here. And that's it for the first method. We'll see in a few moments the format of the converted model. But before we do that, let's demo the second way to convert a Keras model. This is going to be done directly using Python, and this method is for when we're working with a Keras model and we want to go ahead and convert it on the spot to a TensorFlow.js model without necessarily needing to save it to an H5 file first. So we're in a Jupyter Notebook where we're importing Keras in the TensorFlow.js library, and I'm going to demo this with the VGG16 model because we'll be making use of this one in a future video anyway, but this conversion will work for any model you build with Keras. So we have this VGG16 model that's created by calling keras.applications.vgg16.vgg16. And then we call tensorflowjs.converters.savekerasmodel. And to this function, we supply the model that we're converting, as well as the path to the output directory where we want the converted tensorflow.js model to be placed. And that's it for the second method. So let's go check out what the output from these conversions look like. We're going to look at the smaller model that we converted from the terminal. So we're inside of this directory called simple model, which is the output directory I specified whenever we converted the first model. And we have a few files here. We have this one file called model.json, which contains the model architecture and metadata for the weight files. And those corresponding weight files are these sharded files that contain all the weights from the model and are stored in binary format. The larger and more complex the model is, the more weight files there will be. This model was small with only a couple dense layers and about 640 learnable parameters. But the VGG16 model we converted on the other hand with over 140 million learnable parameters has 144 corresponding weight files. All right, so that's how we can convert our existing Keras models into TensorFlow.js models. We'll see how these models and their corresponding weights are loaded in the browser in a future video when we start building our browser application to run these models. Let me know in the comments if you're ready to start building and I'll see you in the next video.